Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. Absolute just updated Mega Hack once again, and there's a new option, Force Objects Invisible, which is very interesting to me right off the bat. So I'm going to test it out on Deadlocked, and what I believe it does is treats every object like those invisible light objects that you see here and there. I'm right. I'm 100% right. It's interesting that the orbs completely lose their particles too. Like, this is custom made. This isn't just like putting alpha triggers into the game. Oh, this is interesting. What it seemed like right there is that it made every object visible and then applied the invisible thing to it because I noticed that there was a few speed changes above the portal That's interesting. So we might uncover a few of Rob top secrets I'm just completing deadlocked as a warm-up here, you know casually so it just gives every single object the properties of the invisible objects that appear in levels like Toe 2, which I find super interesting, and it's good to test my memory of some levels. I mean, a lot of these objects are still, in fact, visible. Like, I can still see a very faint outline of where I'm supposed to go. Oh god, it's funny with the moving objects, because they just don't fade out whatsoever. Why, why do I keep... Okay, that's enough of deadlocked for me. I guess let's just look at the weekly, see how that goes. This almost looks natural. I'm not sure if it's just because the object used so much white. Oh god, that text card is completely ruined. Yeah, this is a interesting challenge. It adds a little bit of spice to the game when you wouldn't necessarily get it. I almost didn't see that button. Oh god, it kind of ruins any custom background that comes into a level. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, so there's these buttons in the level. So you gotta hit the ceiling to activate this spike barrier or something. Yeah, you see? You gotta move it out of the way, which is very unfortunate when I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah, it definitely ruins some of the level's visuals, I'm not gonna lie, but it creates a really cool light dynamic. You see in the middle, it's brighter than anywhere else. Oh, wow. How was I supposed to know to go there, man? I can barely see the arrows. Okay, it was quite obvious, I'm not gonna lie. Game over. Oh, hell yeah. So this is completely affecting my perception of this level. I Okay, when I die, I can see what it looks like, and it looks so much more dark than my game is really giving credit here. I'm pretty sure because the background's just gray, and it's deleting all of the objects in front of the background, so I can very clearly see what's going on. Okay, I can probably beat this. This seems fine. This level's so long, though. What the heck? Oh god, it's treacherous when things are rotating towards you. Okay, I think I'm ready to do this in normal mode, though. It's just this one dual part that I wasn't 100% sure on that I'm going to practice again. That's basically why I did this practice run, because I'm kind of killing it. All right, I think I got this in normal mode now. It's a little bit difficult to see some pads sometimes, because they completely lose their particles. I'd like to guess that the opacity in the middle is about 10%. I'm pretty sure if you put portals on 10% opacity, that they keep their particles if you do it in the vanilla game. Okay. Let's make a quick test with an upside down portal that's gonna lock on the X axis for this little level that I'm gonna make. Let's fade it down to 10% on a three second fade time. And then after that, we can move it back up. Oh, the particles actually do disappear. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, we got past the questionable part for me, which was the red orbs that I could barely see. Luckily, the orbs show me where to jump and hit my head, because sometimes people use that mechanic and they just don't have any sort of indicator. They just have a ceiling block that you're supposed to see, because it's bright red or whatever. But I can't really see that too well, because the invisible mod, so... Oh, I didn't hold the dash orb long enough. That's a problem, I just realized. A lot of gameplay is fine, because you just click once and it's done. But for gameplay where you have to hold, it's a lot more difficult because, you know, I gotta make better judgment on when to let go and it's not guaranteed input. Even if I hit it right the first time, I still gotta let go properly, you know? After I beat this level, I think I'm gonna try out some classic levels. I'm sucking so bad at that transition for some reason. Because unfortunately, this mod isn't that good when objects are moving in the background. There we go, I got past the transition. Yeah, because when there's moving backgrounds and beams and stuff with, like, boss fights, it doesn't really work too well. Oh god, this is so hard to see. That's probably the hardest part in the level for sure. I just said probably and for sure in the same sentence. I did find myself clicking and hoping for the best there. So the mod is working, don't worry. Even though it's slightly visible in the middle. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just want to see what the level looks like at this point. I want to see what I was actually playing. So this is Energetic Stardust by VTOL64 in its non-invisible form. Wow, this thing's bright. What the heck? I saw some of it on a death, but like that was such a bright intro. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, this actually looks so good. What the heck? It looks like I was playing like a list player's LDM or something. Like one of those cheap personal LDMs that somehow got accepted on the list for no reason. Oh, this is much nicer to play. Thank goodness. <laughs> Let's see how well I do here. Oh, I was kind of cheesing the overlays with that. So maybe Maybe this could be considered hacking? I don't know. It's probably not legitimate, even though it's very much a hindrance at some points. I, I just don't get that part. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna move on. This level tickled my fancy. Speed Racer. I forgot to turn the mod on. Yeah, this is more like it. When there's no background, this goes way harder. Because moving a background means that the objects at the edges are never gonna go invisible. So you just have like a weird overlay over the top the whole time. And especially when that level's background was gray for whatever reason. Definitely didn't make it look the best. I'm sorry, VTOL, for that poor representation of your work of art. But we're doing this properly now. 
Oh god. Oh god. Hold on. Do I remember the patterns? <laughs> oh, that's so scary with the speed changes when you can barely see the spikes. Oh boy. Okay, I'm good for now. Luckily, I've played this level quite a few times so I can remember what's happening. So maybe this is a good warm-up for what's actually about to come. Oh my god. Nine circles. This is cool. It's an effect level, but there's no moving background. This is awesome. This is perfect for me. Also, are my checkpoints being affected by this filter? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is intense, dude. This background actually looks really good with those objects becoming invisible. What the heck? It must just be background that don't have any moving parts that look good. Okay, now I'm very intrigued to see what this is gonna look like. It's gonna add a whole new layer to this effect for sure. Oh boy, I'm doing it? No, I'm, I'm definitely not. Oh, that's so intimidating with the black background. Oh, when you die, you see nothing. That's pain. What the heck, dude? This is evil. This level is the most true test we've had so far with this mod. Oh god, the mini wave's gonna suck this part especially. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, the speed changer kind of helped me out there. Thank you. I could get like a clear vision of what's going on. Okay, I just did the whole mini wave and one. Never mind. Uh, okay, that ceiling part's scary. The very tight ceiling with the saws. I got the coin, dude. Let's go. Okay, I'm good. Maybe. Let's see if I can get past this slow part of the wave. No, dude, I was so close. Wow, you can actually die there? What? I didn't know that. I should have died like four times. Yes! No! Why did I do that? Panic, dude. I couldn't see the edges. It legitimately got to me. Nah, oh, that's enough for me. This one should be way more bearable. Decode by wreckage. A level I've probably completed about 10 times over. Maybe more. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. That just makes levels look really cool. 1.9 levels especially, because you couldn't scale past a certain point. So everything here is one time scale. Everything's going invisible at the same time. If you have a huge scaled block on the same point as another regular block, the huge scale block's gonna be visible at different times than the regular. Like, if you think about the boundaries, this square right here is on the right side of the big one. But at that point, it's going to be different in its brightness, you see? So when everything's the same size, it's all really consistent, which I really like. Because then it makes the invisible effect actually work. I think it's satisfying to look at. Oh my goodness. Woo, baby. Oh, 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 thumbnail material. Let's go. I think I got close to some of those. No, I actually died in it, though. That's painful. I can complete this for sure. Look at this wave in normal speed. Does this look possible to you? Thank you, Hot Dog by Crit, or whatever it's called. They're teaching me that UFO pattern very consistently. Oh my god. What is this level called? Hot Dog Redux. I can't believe this is a rated medium demon in the game. Like, why? Oh, I'm gaming. I'm game. I'm not gaming. All right, after that amazing break, we're gonna go and beat Decode. Please don't mess it up this time. There's no way I can, right? I'm pressing the button too much. That's why. Oh, God, this is terrifying. Oh, it's so red. The background is shining all the way through those blocks. Oh, God. Do I remember this? Yes, I do. Thank God. I actually beat a level. What the heck? Whew. It's my tradition to play Born Survivor by Splinter25 for any video that I make with a challenge or filter or some sort of hindrance to my gameplay ability. Wow. It's been a while since I've played this with this much visibility. I think it's deleted some of the background. I don't know what happened there. Oh, but this looks beautiful though. Let's go. This is what I had in mind. Huge moves. I've completed this in planet. Oh my God. I was about to say, I've completed this in planet mode. There's no way I die in the invisible mode, but I did. Ooh, X is a good one. This one doesn't have any moving backgrounds, right? Oh God. Oh, this is so invisible. What? I think it's because the objects are background colored that it really helps that. That's actually crazy. Oh god, this looks so empty. I think it's because the background's just completely default. Oh yeah, you can see the massive orbs that he put over the green orbs to kind of nerf it a bit. Oh, this is terrifying. I actually really like the colors in the background with the glow though. Oh, there's a button there? I didn't know that. Come on. Death Moon is a great idea. Yes. -na -na -na. That was trippy because some of the blocks pulse red, which is the same color as the background, which is the same color that the blocks turn into. Oh god, can I remember this coming up memory maze? Oh no. Yes, I can, I think. Oh my god! What? That's so cool though. Oh yeah, you can see the cracks in some of these blocks, unfortunately, but oh, this is so intense with the blocks not being there. Ah! Da -da. It's funny when the art just like disintegrates. Okay, we're gaming right now. Oh boy. This is quite nerve wracking, I gotta be honest. <laughs> the R just gets completely ruined. Oh god, there's nothing here. Do, 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 do. Oh! 
No, I hit the edge of the block. Oh, that was good while it lasted. Star Punk by Furta Funky will be an interesting one to play with this, I think. Yeah, this level just oozes invisibility. I don't know. I think it's the cyber style that really allows it. I always forget about that transition, dude. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gaming already. It's so dark here that it just makes everything so vibrant at the edges. It's sick, dude. Oh my god. I actually really hope I don't die because this is sick. Okay. What happens here? Oh, come on. I couldn't see. It was moving. I almost got to the drop. Come on. The drop's literally the part I want to see. It should just be straight line cruising from here and then I get to the drop. Let's go. This isn't too bad to play actually. It literally looks no different. That's so goofy. Okay, no, this looks this looks so cool. Oh my god. I'm glad I played this now. I was disappointed for a second, but it's okay. This transition's gonna look sick too. Whee! Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta Come on. Super Sonic will be an interesting one. What about the- Ooh, this is gonna look sick. I was gonna say, what about the memory ball at the end? But I think I can probably get that from here. This has some wild click patterns. I remember you can buffer a click from like here. Yeah, what the heck is that? Okay, this is intense. Okay, transition out. Nope, that was always impossible, dude. Most unfair thing ever. There's no way G-Boy actually tested the way this transitions. He definitely just put a stop pause at the ship portal. Okay, hold on. This is a chat. I'm moving. I just don't want to play G-Boy. <laughs> That's just all it is. Okay, now this is the intensity I was looking forward to. The memory ball. Oh my god. That's trippy. Oh my goodness. No way. But so then how does my 1.9 level look? Why does mine look so off? All the other 1.9 levels look fire. Why is mine weird? Well, because the flashes aren't very visible. If you like what you see, I've been making a 1.9 building series. You should definitely check it out. Oh, dude. This is intense. Why does this feel so much faster than every other level I've played? Oh boy, this is beautiful. Okay. I'm guessing up my own level a little bit too much here. It's not that good. Okay. This ending's gonna be sketch. The memory ball. This is kind of why I wanted to play it. Oh, you can kind of see the edges. That sucks. I think I gotta speak while I do this because this song's copyrighted. But yeah, this is really cool. I actually really like the way this plays, even with the invisibility. Might do that again sometime if there's any levels that would be particularly interesting with it. Thank you for watching this Geometry Dash hack slash mod video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.